let's continue off of last video. We'd encountered this problem where I try to access one of the variables in the car class, but it's giving me the red line saying private access in car. Because what we showed you was we showed you how to make your class sort of a bit more secure from another programmer using it improperly, you can make variables private so that the outside user can't just change the values to anything, for instance, with a line like bob.speed equals, you know, negative 999. Okay, it's not allowed. They do not have direct access to that speed variable. Now, we saw how we could let them change the speed by adding mutator methods that can do stuff like this. Now, what we want to do is we want to make a method in the car class that allows access to the speed variable so that if I did want to print out the speed I can access the speed so this is done with a accessor method so let's go write that method in the car class now and see how we can still get the value of speed back to the programmer that is using the car class so we know we have the speed variable so now we're gonna write the accessor method so I'm just gonna write it down here accessor method. Now this one's going to be different. This one isn't going to be public void. This one's going to be the first time you see this public and I'm trying to return the speed variable and the speed variable is an integer. So what I do is I say public int. Now what this means here is this word versus void is because this method is going to send back an integer. This method sends back nothing, void. This method sends back nothing, void. This method sends back nothing, void. But this method, I want it to be able to send back a number. So I'm going to call it get speed. No parameters. Now most accessor methods start with the word get because that's sort of the purpose you're trying to hey go get me the speed variable so get speed now the neat thing about this method is all I want to do here is basically something like this I need to send something back and you do that with the return statement and what do I want to return I want to return the speed variable now this is a little weird the first time you see it and we are gonna build on these methods quite a bit in the future Okay, but these are sort of the simple ones. But basically, it reads like this. The getSpeed method sends back an integer. What integer does it send back? Well, whatever you decide to return. I'm just making this one simple. Return the speed variable. Well, this is nice. This method has public access. Anybody can use it from outside the class. So back in our car runner, all I have to do here is replace this with get speed and you'll see that get speed goes and runs and it returns the speed variable of the car that called this method now this method sends back an integer which means this here is an integer and you can do anything with this that you could normally do with an integer one of the things you could do would be print it out. So when I test this out, I know the speed of the car was 5. It went up 30. Here, let's make it go up 60, down 50, and then get the speed. And it prints out 15, which I'll just assume is the right math there. Okay, and it sends it out. So remember, that is the number 15. It's an integer because that method gets speed sends back an integer. Now another way I could have done this is I could have done something like this and I'm just showing you this to show you how you can use these methods but I could have said the method integer val is bob dot get speed. Val is an integer I can set it equal to an integer and guess what that's an integer and then I could have gone system out dot print line val and you know that's going to print out 15 as well just the idea to show you you could store the value use it later or you could just print it out if that's what you want to do with it directly 
But the idea of these methods sending you back the value is great because what it lets you do is it gives you access to the private variables of the class and it lets you do extra stuff, which you'll learn later on. Okay, but that's the basics of the accessor method. Now you'll see here that I also have position is private and license plate is private. So what I can do is I could also write accessor methods for those ones. So here I could really quickly write public integer get position and I return the position variable of this car and I could also write public and this one I have to send back a string and get license plate and I return the license plate variable which is a string. So whatever you say you're going to return has to match the type, right? String, string, integer, 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 integer. And then I could go and use these in my car runner class whenever I want. Thanks for watching.